Opportunity to praise you, to thank you, to worship Almighty God. Hallelujah. Let the redeemed say so this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Blessed be his holy name. Oh, praise our God. Praise our God. He is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. His name is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Blessed be his holy name. Are you happy this morning? Did you come with expectation? Hallelujah. God bless you, bride of Christ. Welcome to a, another gathering before that final, that final blast when he cracks the skies and he calls his bride home. Hallelujah. God bless you. And if we could open our Bibles to Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Hallelujah. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, Lord, it's good to be in your presence, Father God. It's good to be gathered together here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Lord, the bride of Christ from around the world. Lord, we're united under one head this morning, Father, and that's the head of Almighty God, the head of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we just want to give back to you this morning praise and worship and glory and honor, Father God. For Lord, you are worthy to be praised, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for bringing us safely, Father, for giving us traveling mercies, oh God, and Lord, for being with us, Lord. Lord, as we feel your Holy Spirit brooding over us this morning, Lord, we commit everything into your hands, Father God. Lord, that we know that anything is possible this week, Father God. And Lord, we look to hear from you, Lord Jesus. And Father God, those that need the Holy Ghost, Father, we know that there's a Holy Ghost to be received, Father God. So Father, this morning we ask that you would open up the heavens, Lord, and just drop down the fire of God once more, Lord Jesus. Grant it, Father God. Bless your people, Father. We commit the service into your hands. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. God bless you. If you greet someone, tell them you love them. What a day that will be. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see and when I look upon his face the one who saved me by his grace and when he takes me by the hand and leads me through that promised land, oh, what a day, glorious day that will be, oh, what a day that will be, oh, when my Jesus I shall see, and when I look upon his face. The one who saved me by his grace And when he takes me by the hand And leads me through that promised land Oh, what a day, glorious day that will be we 
when my Jesus I shall see and when I look upon his face the one who saved me by his grace and when he takes me by the hand and leads me through that promised land what a day glorious day that will be oh let's lift our voices oh what a day that will be when my jesus i shall see and when i look upon his face the one who saved me by his grace when he takes me by the hand and leads me through that promised land oh what a day glorious day that will be oh let's just worship him think about it friend. convention it's going to be when they just gave an introduction and the people on their feet screaming and worshiping my lord you're chomping at the bit hallelujah can't wait for the word of god to go forward in the power and demonstration of the holy ghost hallelujah yes you come to get your portion amen hallelujah glory to god hallelujah Amen, 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 my Lord. My, like I said Wednesday, come hungry. Come for soul food. Come looking for the vitamins, the nourishment. Be like that little calf. We have a, a barn house open here full of grain, the finest of grain, the finest of wheat. Amen, the table is set and the mass is saying, come and dine. Lord, we're going to have a feast. Amen, do you believe that? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'd like to read the praise and the prayer request at this time. Sister Louise DeMeo was praising God for his grace that I would be able to attend the convention. And I know she's very, very sick. And the doctor gave a really bad report. And She's gone for test, and it almost looks hopeless, but not with God. Amen. Amen. With the Lord, anything is possible to them that believe. We have seen miracle after miracle after miracle. Amen. And to me, when a person has a, when they're up against the Red Sea, when they're facing the fiery furnace, when they're in the lion's den, that's when God wants to let you know how great he is. That's when he wants to flex his muscles. And he makes it get to a point where it's absolutely hopeless. Are you convinced now that nothing can be done? Are you convinced that man can't do nothing? The doctors can't do nothing? Nobody could do nothing? Well, now let me show you what I can do. Glory to God. I'm the God of the impossible. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. From my brother... Amiko Kiki uh, for the grace 
to be in these meetings and we all feel that way. We're all happy to be here and rejoicing and some have come from very, very far away. Amen. God has given us the strength, strength and grace to, to get here by his grace. Brother Wilson Jimma is thanking the Lord for sparing my life once more. I had a heart attack and the ministry and the saints prayed for me. Now after checkups, my blood pressure is completely under control. Glory to God. God answers prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. We have a couple of prayer requests here. Brother Alex, I can make this letter out. It looks like either an R or a K. It's Eurini or Eukini. Uh, my my in-law brother Ananyo uh, okay for a muscular and nervous condition that has rendered a 32 year old uh, brother completely helpless uh, on his back for up to a year so this is another hard case but nothing's too hard for God so let's remember this brother in prayer and God be another testimony of the grace of Almighty God. And I don't see a name here, but it says from uh, the little flock in uh, Tulsa, Arizona, as uh, our Lord continues to bless and uh, multiply our group in, in uh, Tucson, we ask prayer for our uh, Lord sending us a pastor to feed us. Amen. And so let's remember this in prayer. Amen. Are you happy today? Do you love him? Glory to God. Have you come expecting? Amen. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. What a mighty God we serve. Glory. Amen. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Gracious Heavenly Fathers, we bow our hearts before your throne of mercy. Lord, there's a shout of the king in the camp. Lord, from the opening moments, just a few strands of an introduction, and Lord, the fire fell. So I know the Holy Ghost is in the building. Lord, there is no excuse for no person not to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, to be filled and refilled. Father, the heavens are open. Lord, the windows of heaven are open. The, the bridegroom is calling tonight. There's joy, joy, joy in my soul. Almighty God, I could feel the, the floods of glory coming down the Lord the ladder in the form of rain together Lord there's going to be a mighty outpouring in those that have their hearts open their hands open their hearts open to receive shall receive a mighty blessing from Almighty God in these meetings bless your people answer these prayer requests may they come back as a note of praise we thank you for the praises we thank you for the healings we thank you for the traveling mercies to come to this convention Lord and for being with us bless your servant brother Coleman may you touch and strengthen his body the Coleman family be with them bless them almighty God may you bless this convention and every minister that speaks almighty God may the fire fall in a special way we ask it Lord in Jesus name amen and amen hallelujah amen as the brothers would get ready to come forward little song that the young people back home sing you might know it. it talks about Jesus is the answer for the world today without him there's no other because Jesus he's the way so if you know it sing along with us for the world today oh without him there's no other Jesus is the way I know that Jesus is the answer for the world today oh without him there's no other Jesus is keep playing softly every head bow for the David Puma if you lead us in prayer I know that Jesus is the answer for the bride today. Oh, without him there's no other. Jesus is the 
way. Oh yes, and Jesus is the answer for the bride today. Oh, without him there's no other. Jesus is the way. I know that Jesus is the answer for the bride today. Oh, without him there's no other. Jesus is the way. I know that Jesus is the answer for the bride today. Oh, without him there's no other. Jesus, let's take it up. Well, Jesus is the answer for the bride today. Oh, without him there's no other. Jesus is the way. I know that Jesus is the answer for the bride today. Oh, without him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Hallelujah. Jesus is the answer for the bride today. Oh, without him there's no other. Jesus is. I know that Jesus is the answer for the bride today. Oh, without him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Oh, without him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Sing again. Oh, without him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Oh, oh without him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Blessed be his holy name. If you need a healing, he's the answer. If you need a sealing, he's the answer. Hallelujah. Blessed be his holy name. Amen. As our brother Plato comes forward, let's talk about Jesus. The King of Kings is he. Lord of Lords Supreme. Hallelujah. Oh, let's talk about Jesus, the King of kings is he, oh, the Lord of lords supreme, throughout eternity, oh, the great I am, the way, the truth, the light, the door, oh, let's talk about Jesus more and more. Oh, Lord, let's talk about Jesus. about Jesus, the King of Kings is He, the Lord of Lords Supreme throughout eternity. The great I am, the way, the truth, the life. Let's Jesus more. For the last time, everybody sing it. Let's sing about Jesus, the King of Kings. 
song in our souls. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank you to be here this morning. We thank you for another convention. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't he lovely? Praise God. Let the redeemed say so then. I don't know what you've come to do, but I've come to praise them. Hallelujah. Praise this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful name. Amen. Well, I'm not going to even ask you if you're happy. Because I, I know you're happy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Long time coming, but we're here. Praise God. What kind of meeting we're going to have this week, huh? If it starts like this, what kind of meeting we're going to have? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be his name. And with Brother George and Brother Victor in the front, you know it's going to be all right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. The Bible says in Psalms 104, it says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Amen. Amen. And that's what we've come to do. Amen. This morning to worship him. And that is how you get free. You don't praise God because you're free. You praise him to get free. Hallelujah. So if you're feeling down, if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling sick, Try raising up your hands a little bit and see what happens. Watch the demons leave. Watch sickness leave. Watch depression leave. Hallelujah. Count your many blessings. Oh, blessed be his name. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, my. Amen. That's right. I remember Paul and Silas one time. They were locked up in a prison. Amen. For standing the reproach. Amen. For the gospel. Amen. And the Bible says at midnight. At midnight. See, they specified a specific hour. Midnight. That's the darkest time. The darkest trial. What did they do? Did they have a pity party? No, sir. Uh, amen. I believe Paul said, I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. Two prisoners in prison. What happened? The chains begin to fall off. The prison doors open. Hallelujah. And that's what happens when you praise him. Oh, my. My. All the skeptics said this would not be possible. But the skeptic, the critic's mouth, the shot. Hallelujah. Can old man stop this? I thought it was finished last year. No, it's just beginning. Praise. This is a prize revival. Praise God. It's just beginning. Hallelujah. How can it be over? There's family out there. Your children are out there. Your husband's out there. This is just beginning. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. All right, praise God. Amen. What are we here to do? Amen. Revelations 10.8. What are we here to do? What are we here in this convention to do? 
Amen. Uh, you've heard it spoken many times in many messages and so forth. Go to the angel. Take the book. And who is that angel? Amen. The Holy Spirit is here. He's that angel. Standing on the earth with the open book. Book of promises. Book of inheritance. Book of praise God. And when you take that book, it becomes your book then. Your revelation. Your word. Your inspiration. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise your prophecy. Amen. That's right. Revelations 10.8, it says, And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hands of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. Hallelujah. And you've got to have that revelation and go to the angel and say, give me that book. I heard it preached. I heard it. I heard. I heard about it. But now it's time to give me that book. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. And he went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly bitter, and but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hands and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Don't you feel that breeze? That's his presence blowing upon you. Amen. Hallelujah. You can be seated. Amen. And visitors, don't get nervous about this. Amen. You, you haven't seen anything yet. Amen. If you think this is loud, you, you haven't seen a thing yet. We do this every year. Amen. Don't feel it. That won't hurt you. Praise God. This will make you stop your lying. This will start the devil's flying. This will save you when you're dying. Praise God. This is that good old-fashioned, heartfelt, Holy Ghost, devil chasing, true blue, red, hot, blood, boy, Jesus loving anointing coming upon the bride. Hallelujah. The ministry of the Spirit to quicken the word seed in you. That's what this is. Yes, sir. Brother, hey, I better leave here because I'm going to start to preach soon. Oh, my. Shalom. Good morning. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, you can be seated a moment. Amen. I just before I, I just want to welcome you. Amen. You can be seated. Amen. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all. Amen. And on behalf of the uh, Brother Coleman and the local Christian Assembly Church, amen, to this Headstone Jubilee Convention, year 2000. Amen. And we heard it before all through last year that the Pope and the Catholic uh, systems, amen, the Catholic churches and so forth uh, have declared this year uh, their year of Jubilee. But I believe the bride has taken that for the herself. <laughs> this is the year of Jubilee. This is it. Praise God. It's now or never. Oh, my. Yes, sir. So... Amen. Brother Coleman wanted to uh, be here this morning. Amen. He's in, the, he's in the hotel. He'll be in and out. Amen. But he had tore a ligament on his right knee a few uh, weeks ago, and he's just trying to stay off his feet, amen, uh, while it heals up. So we want to remember uh, Brother Coleman in our prayers throughout this week. He'll be in and out and so forth, but um, that's why he is not uh, doing this this morning. But we want to thank every minister. Amen, that has come with their churches and so forth. Uh, we thank you, we welcome you, praise God once again. Amen. For making the sacrifice and coming. I know your credit cards are all packed out. 
probably call for an extension on your credit card. Hey Amen. You took up your time and your and your and your substance and your efforts and your money to get here. Some borrowed, some you can be seated, some have it, some don't. Some got a new credit card to get here. Amen. No matter how you get here, get here, praise God. But you know, somehow you had to get here. You couldn't explain it. Something drew you to come here. There was a deep calling to the deep. Amen. It's got to be a deep somewhere to respond to that call. Hallelujah. You had an appointment to be here in Harrisburg. Somehow you had to come. Yes, sir. Oh, my. I remember years ago, you can be seen, there was a movie that uh, came out, The Close Encounters. <laughs> amen. And uh, yeah, I think some UFO come, uh, amen, all went around the world and so forth and just kind of give individuals, I guess, experiences and so forth. And somehow they drew from all over the world up to the certain mountain <laughs> to meet uh, this uh, UFO, whatever it was. Amen. But uh, that was a close encounter over there. But we have uh, another encounter. <laughs> Who brought you here? Some from Africa, India, Malaysia, Canada, all through the islands. Amen. Here you've come to this place to have an encounter. Praise God. Amen. You had to get here. Amen. I appreciate all the ministering brothers. You can be seated a moment. I, I, I met some of them. Amen. And throughout the meeting, I hope I get the ch a chance to meet them uh, all and shake their hands. I, I saw the brother from Malaysia back there, and I know Brother West goes here. He, I think, uh, gave me a box of uh, fruit somewhere. Brother West, there's Brother West. God bless you, Brother West. Well, thank you for those mangoes all the way from the south. <laughs> Amen. Florida. Years ago, I was down in uh, 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 Florida, and I, there was the gift shop, and I picked up on the shelf. There was just an empty can. Nothing's in it. I'm looking at it, and I see the label. A can of Florida sunshine. <laughs> Nothing in it but sunshine. I said, you're selling this? <laughs> you know, so what? Anyway, it's a can of Florida sunshine. It's about all the sunshine, amen. I could say, well, I'll just give me a few of them because I need it. Amen, going back up north, amen. So we're so thankful, amen, for all the ministers and, and their churches, as I said, and for uh, coming and a, a year ago. We certainly did not know we would have this meeting. Amen, but uh, we're together again. We can't figure out God, huh? Perhaps once more, Lord. Perhaps it means more to us now than it ever did, huh? Hallelujah. Once more, Lord. Yes, sir. So we're here together again, and I'm looking for the greatest meetings yet. That's what I'm looking for. The greatest meetings yet, praise God, than we've ever had. And I was telling a brother just the other day, I said, you know, we have gone as far as we can go with the mechanics. Amen, brother. We've, we've uh, uh, uprooted every stone and so forth, and we find a promise. We got this one. We preach it. Praise God. We've gone through the quotes back and forth. Amen. From the beginning all the way through the 1965, every quote promise we can find. Amen. We've polished the hubcaps, Brother George. We've simonized the car many times over. Praise God. Perhaps this meeting, we can take the key, and the key will turn. And get the whole thing into motion. Into the rapture. Praise God. Oh, yes, sir. Perhaps that key will be turned. Yes, sir. And start this vehicle. Amen. Amen. Never mind fussing about quotes and doctrines and so forth. You can be seated. Amen. That time is over. Let the God that answer by fire, let him be God. Yes, sir. If this is right, then God will answer by fire. Praise God. Amen. Let that be the God. And that's the God I want to serve. I don't want no dead nothing, praise God. A bunch of washed up, wishy-washy, praise God. But give me something real. Give me something that I can take home with me. That's what I want. Let the God that answered by fire, let him be God and I'll serve him. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. So I believe the ministry of the Spirit is here. Amen. To quicken the word to the bride, you can be seated. Amen. And uh, we have sent out the announcements here. 
uh, uh, several weeks ago and on one of the announcements, well, the announcements that had the quote on the breach said the seals was broke. Why? In the last church age to reveal these uh, truths. Why? The Lamb broke the seals and revealed them to his church in order to collect his subjects for his kingdom. Yeah. Amen. His bride. See, oh my, he wants to bring his subjects to him now. He said, what a jubilee going on in heaven when the Lamb, see, leaves the intercessory box to come here to possess his claim. Amen. So we've been on the, the under the revelation of it, but there's one, there's coming a time when he gets up out of the intercessory box and makes the claim, this one is mine. How does he claim you? By fire. Claim one over there. One over here. One over there. Amen. We have the down payment of it now, but wait, praise God, till he claims our body, our souls, our minds, and changes our body like unto his glorious body. Amen. We're going to be changed, huh? Yes, sir. And possess his claims. You know that, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know that got next to John. He must have saw his name wrote there. When them seals broke, he must have got real happy. Talk about a jubilee, he says. Talk about a time when the Lamb walked forth. See the book even sealed in heaven. The mysteries are. Say, is my name in there? I don't know. I hope it is. But if it was, it was put in there. Praise God. Before the foundation of the world. If it was, it was put in there before the foundation of the world. So what do you have to uh, get worried about? Praise God. You will always say. You come from God and you go back to God again. The devil can't take you. You belong to him. That portion, that, that the, the, the blood section of the book. Amen. Is my name in there? I don't know. I hope it is. But if it was, put, it was put in there before the foundation of the world. But the first thing that represented that redemption. See, come the lamb that had been slain from the foundation of the world. And he took the book, glory, and opened the book and tore off the seals. And sent it down to earth to his seventh angel. And that's why we preach the open book. Not the sealed book, the open book. Not six seals, seven seals. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, sir. And he took the book, glory, open book, and tore it off the seals and sent it down to his earth, uh, to the earth, to his seventh angel to reveal it to his people. There you are. He said, oh my, what happened? The screams and the shouts and the hallelujahs and the hosannas and the glories to God. Is that what's happening here? Why? When the revelation comes that the Lamb, the Redeemer, our kinsman, has come back from the throne of Minotaurial and has walked out there and take his possession. Oh, my. He that promised these things in this last days, he said, see these things, he said, uh, he's that's now in the time of the revelation of these things being made known the time of the revelation of these things being made no and we've been under the time of the revelation now is it time for possession is it time for possession then Lord claim me Lord he said come and dine oh don't miss it my brother yes sir so amen yes sir and one more quote here what have you come I'm, I'm under expectation um, are you under expectation what have we come to, here to expect? The deep calling unto the deep. See, if you expect to come, see, if you expect to come just to find something to criticize, the devil will sure show you plenty to criticize. He certainly will. You will get what you expect. He said, but I'm expecting tonight to see the Holy Spirit come and manifest himself in power pour out his glory upon this building here and many receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit sinners weep their way to Calvary the sick be healed or manner of signs and wonders because Jesus Christ has promised it and I believe his promise 
Jesus Christ has promised the dynamics and I believe his promise oh hallelujah glory be to God amen praise God hallelujah so if you've come to criticize well the devil will give you plenty to criticize <laughs> amen but if you come to see Jesus sirs we would see Jesus then he's the one we're here to preach he's the one we're here to talk about he's the one that we're here to preach about he's the one we're here to brag about Jesus 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 hallelujah amen so while you're standing let's stand to our feet and we'll have a, a word of prayer as we dedicate this place and open this uh, convention praise God with a dedicational prayer amen that God will have his way that God will have not a, a, a that God will anoint this place and, and anoint this place for the next couple of days amen that we may receive all that we've come here for amen let's pray father what a blessing it is to be here this morning lord to feel your presence how explosive it is in here this morning lord we thank you for your mercy and your grace lord has led us all this far and lord on this day father god on this fourth of july where this country celebrates lord god its independence lord god from the from the motherland and uh, lord how we can stand here uh, this morning celebrating our independence as well Lord, from the old task master, Father God, you have redeemed us and set us free. Lord, how we've come, Lord, to worship you and adore you. And Lord God, and in, in, in the natural, they celebrate this holiday with a lot of fireworks. Father, Lord, may you send your fireworks here this week. Praise God and explode in every heart, Father God. Oh, we anoint Lord God, we pray that you would anoint each one in this building. Lord, sanctify this, uh, this, this place. Father God, lay us, may, may we lay aside everything that so easily beset us, Father. Lord, all our, 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 the, the things that we've come, Lord, the trials and things. We're not worried about trials anymore. We're here, Lord God, to focus in, Lord God, on the promises here the next couple of days. Anoint the people. Anoint every speaker. Hallelujah. Lord, may every speaker be anointed, Father. May spirit spoken words, Lord, go out. Bless this morning's service. Bless Brother Coleman, Lord God, and heal his knee, Father God, and his weary, tired body, Father. We commit this convention to your hands. We dedicate ourselves for this convention. Lord, we dedicate this building for this purpose, Father. We ask it in the name of Jesus Christ. And let the church say, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to turn the service back to the song leader now, but we're going to have a fiery preacher here this morning. Amen. I appreciate Brother Isaac over it. Amen. When you see him, you see his father. Praise God. The father sits back there. He, I'm sure, sure he can be very proud of his son. Amen, and uh, yes, sir, so we appreciate Brother Isaac. He's bold, amen, he speaks what's on his heart. Amen, so we're going to be blessed this morning, amen. But just before he comes, I think there's a special. So God bless you. Stay in the spirit. Praise God. God bless you. He's the Savior Will they get in? Oh, he's the Savior of my soul, my Jesus. He's my Jesus. Oh, he's the Savior. Yes. 
Blessed be his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed Savior. Amen. You may be seated. Our brother Gideon is going to sing for us. The name of the song is Just Stand.
Don't give up and don't give in. No, no. Hold on. Just be strong. I said God is going to help you and you won't be long after you've done all you can. After you've done all you can. After you've done all you can. You just stand. Hallelujah. Are you going to stand? I mean, how can we not stand? I mean, when this word has been revealed to you and I, I mean, and, and God makes known to you his glory plans and what he has in store for us in this time, praise God, I'll stand in the face of every foe, friend or enemy, I'm going to stand. Hallelujah. Blessed be his holy name. Why? Because Jesus is my Savior. I shall not be moved. Oh, in his love and favor. I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. Oh, I shall not be moved. Oh, I shall not, I shall not be moved. Oh, I shall not, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. Oh, I shall not be moved. Oh, in my Christ abiding, I shall not be moved. Oh, in his love I'm hiding. Oh, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. Oh, I shall not be moved. Oh, I shall not be I shall not be moved. Oh, I shall not be. Oh, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water. Oh, I shall not be moved. Well, glory, hallelujah. I shall not be moved, cause I'm anchored in Jehovah. Oh, I shall not be moved, just like a tree that's planted by the water. Oh, I, I shall not be moved. Oh, I'm singing now, I shall not, I shall not be moved. Oh, I. I shall not, oh, I shall not be moved like a tree that's planted by the water. Oh, I shall not be moved. Put your hands together. Oh, I shall not be moved just like a tree 
that's planted by the water. Oh, I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. I shall not be. I shall not be moved. Oh, I shall not. I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water. Oh, I shall not be moved. One more time. That's planted by the water. Oh, I. Are you ready for the word? I shall not be moved. Oh, no, I shall not be. I shall not be moved. Oh, I shall not be. I shall not be moved just like a tree. That's planted by the water. A tree that's planted by the water. Oh, I can't stop. One more time. I shall not be moved. I oh, I shall not be moved. Oh, hallelujah! King Jesus is here. Everything is possible. Hallelujah! Shall not be moved. Oh, for the last time, I shall not. I shall not be moved. Oh, I shall not. I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water. Shout of praise. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The shout of the king is in the camp this morning. Anything could happen this morning. If you were not feeling good before, you're feeling good now. My God, when the people get together in one mind and one accord, something must happen. You are here and God is here. The devil has just left the building. All doubt has left the building. Depression has left the building. We're making way for the Holy Ghost. Just like in the upper room, they were in one mind. They were in one accord. They were of one heart. There was no division. There were no critics. There were no skeptics. They were under expectation for the miraculous to take place. And we are under expectation this morning. My, 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 my. There's a lot of fire in here this morning. Mm. Blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. The devil is finished. My God, as Brother Robledo said, if we start like this, how will the convention go on? Because the God we serve doesn't decrease. He only speaks about increase. That means tonight will be even greater and tomorrow will be even greater. The God we serve is a good God. The God we serve is a big God. I say, if you are feeling depressed this morning, depression has to go. You're feeling tired. The God we serve can give you strength in your mortal body to praise him. He loves his people to give him praise. He loves his people to give him worship. That's why you were created. That's why you were put on this earth to give God praise. Let the church say amen. 
Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Satan, if it's war you want, it's war you're gonna get. We are not gonna back down. We are gonna fight for every inch of ground. We are gonna reclaim our backslidden young people. We are gonna reclaim all our healing. We are gonna take back our victory. Satan, this is our year of Jubilee. Time up. You've held on long enough. You have been trapped long enough. You are free. This is the time of Jubilee. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. My, 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 I don't know how you came to this convention, but you are in the right place at the right time. I don't know what you expected, but if you expect the miraculous to take place, you know the world speaks about guarantee. They try to guarantee that this product would last for two years or three years, but sometimes guarantees fail. But there is only one thing we can guarantee, that the same God that wrote the word is more than able to keep his word. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. So I'd like to greet you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. It is good to be here. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'd like to greet and thank Brother Coleman and his wife and the ministry of New York City for extending the invitation for me to be here. It is good to be here. I'd like to greet all the ministers and all the people and especially the young people of the Bride of Jesus Christ. Many times it's rough, many times it's tough, but the young people are going to make it. Can I get a witness in the house this morning? Blessed be the name of the Lord. So I'd like to go straight to the word if you have your Bibles. <clears throat> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Will you turn with me to Hebrews 13, 8. St. John 11, 19. St. John 14, 12. Read in Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen. Read in St. John 14, 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And reading verse 20. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. And St. John chapter 11, read in verse 19. And many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection and the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die, believest thou this. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, truly it is a great privilege to be in your house this morning. And Lord, we know that your Holy Spirit is here. We feel the presence all around us, Father. Lord, I pray you bless this morning's service, Father. Take me out of the way. Speak to your people, Lord, and do what you want done in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Bless the reading of the word in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. You may be seated. So for a title this morning, That Same Jesus. My subject, Jesus Christ manifested in our day, my inspiration even now, Lord. From the Pergamian Church Age, Church Age book, chapter 5. The prophet said, here is what I am trying to tell you. 
The law of reproduction is that every species brings forth after its, its kind even according to Genesis 1.11. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass and the herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. Whose seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so. Whatever life was in the seed came forth into a plant and thence into fruit. The very same law applies to the church today. Every seed must bring forth after its kind. Your friends, your neighbors, your family might look at you and think you are all ordinary they might think you are just like them maybe you look like them you live where they live you you eat from the places they eat and and they think that you are all ordinary but little do they know that you come from God and that you going back to God and there's a seed inside of you that must bring forth after its kind If you put an apple tree in the midst of pear trees, it will still bring forth an apple because it's coated on the inside and something is coated inside of you. Something has been coated, genetically coated from before the foundation and no God help yourself. You didn't put it there yourself, but God Almighty put something inside of your soul and it must bring forth after its kind. Don't let the devil rob you. Don't let the devil tell you otherwise. Don't let the devil tell you you're not called. You shall be adopted. You shall be perfected. You shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. If you're looking for healing, you are in the right place. You could be healed. The God we serve is the same yesterday, the same today, and the same forever. Somebody say amen. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. You may be seated if you like. Whatever seed started a church will come forth and be like the original seed because it is the same seed. In these last days, a true bride church will come to the headstone and she will be like a super church, a super race, not an ordinary people. You are not ordinary. You are not normal. You are special people. You are chosen people. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. This is in order to be united with him. They will be one. They will be the very manifestation of the word of the living God. Denominations cannot produce this. Message churches cannot produce this. They will produce their own creeds and their own dogmas. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But from a little group of the true seed of the word, God will present Christ with a beloved bride. She is a virgin of his word. By and through the bride will be fulfilled all, all that was promised of God to be made manifest. Listen to me. Age after age, through the Bible, certain promises were placed in the Bible, but they had to wait till a certain time. They had to wait till a certain age. They had to wait till a certain season till a certain people came on the earth till a certain people were here listen blessed blessed be the name of the lord you may be seated many of the young people in here were not here when the prophet was here many of the young people here were not here 20 25 30 years ago but they had to be here listen that promised land was taken by young people and caleb's listen in the message world they are either dead dying or badly wounded but god has a group of people god has a group of young people and some caleb's who will possess the inheritance possess the land of adoption possess the land of perfection possess the land of that slot above Laodicea below God's corporate body my 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 listen to me God has a group of young people they might not read all the quotes they may not have heard all the tapes but the living God who wrote the quotes and spoke to the prophet will be veiled inside of those young people I don't care how you feel this morning your feeling doesn't matter Blessed be the name of the Lord. You may be seated if you like. Listen, when the angel told Mary, you're going to have a child, she didn't wait till she feel the baby moving in her womb. The moment the word was spoken to her, she ran quickly and told Elizabeth, listen, I'm going to have a child. And right now, you mightn't feel any change. You mightn't feel any different. But if you catch a revelation, watch that word revelation. If you catch a revelation this morning that you are going to live the way Jesus wants you 
to the lip and Christ himself will be veiled inside of you then no devil could stop you no man could stop you no minister could stop you listen many men have failed in this message but this message cannot fail the word will become flesh Hallelujah. By and through the pride will be fulfilled all that was promised from the moment you were born. A word hovered over your head. Listen, you were in all the parties and, and in drugs and wherever you were, but a word hovered over your head, waiting for your appointed time to call you out, to call you out to your country, to call you out of where you were, out of your condition. Because listen, God. Blessed, blessed, you may be seated. This is the year 2000. Young people look around. Things in the world are not getting better. Every day is more crime, more sin, more pressure. It looks almost impossible to live in. But God is smiling to himself, looking over the banister of time and saying, listen, I have somebody down there who's going to make it. I have a chosen group of people who can overcome. Let the devil do what he wants. The elect cannot be deceived. I will repeat, the elect cannot be deceived. You may be seated. You are not an accident. You are not some child that was supposed to be aborted and was not. You are not here by accident. You are not here by mistake. You could even come if you wanted. What did the Bible say? No man could come unless the father draws him first. So what are you saying, Brother Isaac? A call went out to bring you to this convention. God put something inside of your soul it just had to be here you couldn't even come if you wanted that's why you're different because when the deep has brought a blade said when the deep calls to the deep there has to be a deep to respond you can't even help yourself Jesus means more to you than anything else and despite the trials despite the testing despite the pressure you can still testify that every day with Jesus has been sweeter than the day before Listen, before God could breathe his breath and say, receive you the Holy Ghost, he had to have a group of people that had to be waiting to receive the Holy Ghost. So when God said, breathe to receive the Holy Ghost, he had you in mind. When God in the Bible speak about perfection, he had you in mind. You may be seated. You may be seated. And you complain about your trials. And you complain about your testing. You complain about your weakness. You complain about your failing. But the God we serve, you see, he loves to express his attributes. He loves to express his characteristics. Because built up in God is an attribute to be a healer. Built within him is an attribute to be a deliverer. Built within him is an attribute to be a restorer. I asked you a question this morning. How could God heal if there's nobody sick? How could God deliver if there is nobody in bondage? How could God restore? if there is nobody that needs to be restored blessed blessed be the name of the Lord he may be seated Jesus said Man, we're talking about Jesus a lot this morning. Jesus said, they that are whole, they that are well, have no need of a physician, but they that are sick. And he came as the great physician to heal the brokenhearted, to take away your sorrow, to give you joy, to take away your stress, to give you peace of mind, to take away your worry. You're worrying about your money. You're worrying about your children. You're worrying about church. You're worrying about this to take away your worry and give you faith. Faith to look up and see beyond your circumstances. Faith 
way to look up and see beyond your present condition to know that God is not finished with you yet. Jesus is not about to change his mind about you. God has no regrets. When God chose you, he overlooked your faults. He overlooked your mistakes. Young people, he overlooked all the errors you will do. And he still say, I choose you because I am not looking at your present condition. I'm looking at how you were before the foundation of the world. You might be sad this morning, but before the foundation of the world, you were shouting, you were praising, you were jumping, you were saying hallelujah. He may be seated. What am I saying? Being backslidden is only temporary. Being sick is only temporary. All these bad conditions is only temporary. It will come to an end. But what is permanent is that I know a place where we can go. There'll be no gray hair there. There'll be no more pain there. No more sickness. No more arthritis that you can't even lift your hand to worship. We'll only have youth services. We'll only be shouting. Everybody will be young. Everybody will be on the firing line. Everybody will be able to shout. Everybody will be able to jump. You won't have been there you won't have stress no mortgage to pay no doctor to pay no lawyer to deal with you'll be <laughs> my 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 you may be seated. The members of that virgin bride will love him. They will have his potentials. For he is their head. And all power belongs to him. They are subject to him as the members of our bodies are subject to our heads. Notice the harmony of the Father and the Son. Jesus never did anything until it was first showed him by the Father. This harmony that Jesus had with his Father, the prophet said, is now to exist between the groom and his bride. He shows her his word of life. She receives it. She never doubts it. Therefore, nothing can harm her, not even death. Could you imagine a time when you could stare the devil in his face and say, Death, where is thy victory? Grave, death, where is thy sting? Grave, where is thy victory? Not even death could harm you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The secret is, the word is in the pride. You mean all these years, seeds have been planted and sown inside your soul. Listen, what could be preached has been preached. What we need is the spirit. What we need is the fire. What we need is the dynamics. Listen, Luther had the mechanics and dynamics for their day. Wesley had the mechanics and dynamics for their day. The Pentecostals had it for their day. What about the pride? What about the people in this age? What about Christ being made manifest in our day you may be seated the bride has the mind of Christ for she knows what he wants done with the word she performs the command of the word in his name for she has thus said the Lord then the word is quickened by the spirit and it comes to pass like a seed that is planted and watered it comes to full harvest serving its purpose those in the bride do only his will no one can make them do otherwise no one can push them aside your friends in school can tell you let's go and drink Let's go and smoke. Let's go and do this or do that. Why? Why? Because you are anchored to the Father up above. Nobody can shake you. Nobody can move you. You can't slip. You can't slide. You can't be shaken. You are grounded. You are rooted. They have thus said the Lord, or they keep still. They know it has to be God and them doing the works, fulfilling his own word. 
Listen to this. He did not complete all his work while in his earthly ministry. So now he works in and through the bride. What do you think you are called for? Just to go to church? Just to have conventions? No, 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 no. God called you to work through you because he has to have some flesh to operate in. He has to have some people that he could send down Times Square or wherever it's the main part of your city and say, silver and gold, I don't have, but such as I have, I give unto you. He wants to have a group of people to walk down your school, walk down your neighborhood. I don't care what laws restrict you. The pride knows no restriction. The Pride, no, no limit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You may be seated. The bride of prophet is continuing. She knows that for it is not yet time for him to do certain things that he must now do. But he, talking about Jesus, will now fulfill through the bride the work which he left for this specific time, for this specific hour, for this specific season. You see, a light doesn't have its effect when everything is bright and all right and everything is going good. But you see, when darkness creeps in, when death creeps in, when problems arise, when this side falls short, when this issue comes up, then the light can show its brilliance. That's why the Bible said, Arise, shine, for thy light has come. Blessed, blessed, be the name of the Lord, you may be seated. Lord, help us. A lot of fire in here this morning. Woo! You may be seated. Once upon a time, if you were sick or if you had problems or if you had a need, there was somebody you could have gone to. If you spent all your money by the doctor and the, what the doctor gave you didn't help you, there was somebody you could go to, and his name is Jesus. The world today speaks about what we need is Jesus. I have news this morning. They say Jesus is not in the scene and they're waiting for him to come back. But I have news this morning. Jesus is waiting for some vessels to step in so he can come back. He's waiting for a group of people that can recognize who they are and forget what this person says and forget what the other person says and can stand there and do what he wants done. And that's why you were called, young brother, young sister. The devil wants you to be an AIDS victim. The devil wants you to lose your head on drugs. The devil wants you to be a failure. But God wants to step inside of your flesh and use you for the glory of his kingdom that's right hallelujah you may be seated and what many people get chained up or tied up with is the devil is very good at what he does don't underestimate the devil he has had a lot of experience since the Garden of Eden. He has had a field time plaguing the children of Israel, plaguing God's anointed age to age, age to age. The devil just put in pressure. But you know what's nice about this age? This age is his last age because the bride of Jesus Christ will give him the knockout punch. This age is when the score that had to be settled way back at the Garden of Eden, that score will be settled in this age. So wait a minute, wait a minute. What are we doing right now? We are being trained. We are being prepared. Listen, you have seen battle yet. The battle is up ahead. Right now, we're just getting things in place. You got to do 50 push-ups. You got to, you got to get more fit. You line upon line, precept upon precept. Don't deviate. Say what the tape say. Hallelujah. We're talking about warfare, we're talking about battle, because on your school, young brother, young sister, it's a battle. The influence is here. You might be the only person in your class trying to be good, and you see the pressure, you feel the pressure, you feel the pressure, but I'm saying, the moment Jesus steps inside of you, you'll be able to push all of it back. Listen, you can stand, that's why the song was sung, when you've done all to do, you just stand. If you don't even have the Holy Ghost, still stand, know that you are going to receive the Holy Ghost 
What we need is more Christians to stand up and say, Satan, we are sick and tired of interfering with our lives. We are fed up. We are sick of it. Satan, get away from here. Don't you know that we were there before the foundation of the world? Don't you know that we were with Michael when you were kicked out of heaven? Blessed be the name of the Lord. You may be seated. You may be seated. This mortal body has to be changed. I'm a young man, but you're all pulling, man. Woo! That's why we have to be changed. This body can't endure the stress. This body can't, my God, we need for the what's on the inside to come materialize on the outside so our bodies could be changed into our glorified condition where we can praise God. We can sing Alanas in the morning. We can sing Alanas in the evening. We have the energy to do it every single day. We just be shouting. We just be jumping. Only be worshiping. Only be shouting. You may be seated. That's to be the name of the Lord. And when he lived here on earth, talking about Jesus, he walked as a man for a message. Go tell my disciples, he looked like a man. He had all his outward appearing as a man, yet inwardly, he was more than mankind. The prophet said he never went anywhere around Palestine, yet the message of his gospel has traveled to every crack, every corner of the world. That's how you could be here. His message spanned out across the world. There never was a college. He never went to any seminary, but there have been many seminaries erected based upon him. And he was the only one who could have said he had power to lay his life down and power to raise it up again. Any man, the prophet said, can make a boast like that. But he proved what he said when on Easter Sunday he rose again. It's one thing when you talk and talk. But the moment you walk the talk, the moment what is being spoken, the moment the word becomes manifest, the moment the people get into action. Listen, the devil is not very concerned when you go to church. He's not very concerned when you shout. But the moment you begin to talk like Jesus the moment you begin to walk like Jesus the moment you begin to do what Jesus did the moment the cripple begin to walk the moment the blind begin to see the moment begin the deaf begin to hear then the devil gets frightened then the devil gets afraid blessed blessed be the name of the Lord you may be seated. That same Jesus of which we speak is the same one. After a time he was preaching and he was tired and he fell asleep in the boat. And the devil took the opportunity. He thought that since Jesus was sleeping, perhaps he, I don't know what the devil thought, but anyway, he tried to shake the boat. And the disciples got frightened and they woke Jesus. And Jesus just said, peace be still. And the winds and the seas had to obey him. It's the same Jesus we're talking about. Once he was preaching and there were 5,000 people listening to him. And there was no bakery nearby. There was no restaurant nearby and before they went home Jesus asked them have you anything that we could share out do you have any food one brother got anointed when he brought five loaves and two fishes to ask what are these among so many but Jesus just took five loaves and two fishes and he prayed and he told them share it out but what I love about God so much listen five loaves two fishes fed five thousand remainder twelve baskets that is new match but that's a Jesus we are talking 
talking about this morning there was a time the disciples were in the boat and Jesus came walking to them on the water they thought he was a ghost and Peter had enough faith to step out and say Lord if it is you bid me to come it's that same Jesus we're talking about this morning at the pool of Bethesda there was a man for almost 38 years he had been trying to get into the pool of water and maybe you've been coming to convention after convention trying to get the Holy Ghost trying to get a breakthrough trying to get deliverance but this time was different because Jesus himself came and asked the man will thou be made whole that was his appointed time the God we speak about is a God that has appointments and keeps his appointment and God Almighty had an appointment with you this convention is your convention don't be discouraged keep your head up you could shout you could praise him he brought you this far God will not desert you now God will not leave you now Blessed, blessed, blessed. Sarah, you have been tried long enough, but I will return unto you according to the time of life. Could this be the time of life? Could this be the hour when the seven thunders will utter their voices to that group? Could this be the time when the church will be adopted? Could this be the time when the Holy Ghost will pour it like never before? Could this be the time when we will be able to have the sick healed without even a prayer line? Could this be the time, my God, where there'll be no dead person, no critic, no skeptic, we'll push them all outside. Who do you say this is? This is not man. No man can do this. But I say the Holy Spirit is here. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit is that angel. You can go to the angel and take the book. You can receive your portion. We didn't come here to sightsee. We came to be blessed. You came for the Holy Ghost. You came for healing. You came for deliverance. This time is your time. I don't care how long you've been backslidden. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, the same today, the same forever. I don't care how long you've been dead. This is your hour. This is your season. This is your time. It's all right to praise him. When you praise him, something has to happen. When you get in the spirit, shackles are broken off. When you get in the spirit, you begin to anoint the word to yourself. It's all right to get in the spirit. It's a good thing to do. In the spirit, something must happen. Blessed, blessed be in the name of the Lord. My, 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 my. <sighs> Sarah, you may have been barren all your life. You may have been dead all your life. But the season has changed. The ministry of the Spirit is here to quicken the word to the bride. You've been hearing the word a long time. But now the Spirit is here quickening, opening up, open it up. Somebody got a revelation. Somebody got a revelation. Somebody's seeing what I've been preached all these years. I see this time is your time. You may be seated. The Holy Spirit is here. You could be filled right now. You could be healed right now. You could be delivered right now. Hallelujah. If you've been backslidden, you could be restored this morning. If you've been dead, maybe you're taught that this convention will be your last opportunity to be delivered when you're in the right place. I say you could be set free this morning. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. You may be seated. Hallelujah. And we can go on and on talking about Jesus. But I want to strike this with Lazarus. We all know the story. Lazarus was sick. And a message came to Jesus about his sickness. But yet despite hearing this, Jesus decided not to go. Because something had to be written in the Bible. 
that in the year 2000 we can look back at it and smile and recognize that the God we serve is still the same yesterday, today and forever. So Lazarus was sick and Lazarus died and we all know the story. And Jesus came and visited the family. And Jesus, he wept like a man. Oh yes, shortest verse in the Bible, Jesus wept like ordinary man. But yet within that man, within that man was more than man. And he stood at the tomb of Lazarus. Now I want to speak about Lazarus for a little while. Lazarus wasn't sick. Lazarus wasn't depressed. Lazarus was dead. Lazarus didn't have problems. He didn't have a mortgage to pay. He was dead. And many times we feel in our condition that we are so far gone. Lazarus was dead. Not for one day, not for half an hour, not for two days. He was dead for four days. This is what we will refer as a point of no return. This is where things happen. If anything happens here, you're looking for trouble. Lazarus was dead for four days. Now understand this. Lazarus' body had begun to rot. His body was decomposing. If you know anything but any dead substance, after a day or two, it begins to decompose. Decay sets in. Why? Because it was the law of sin that occurred in the Garden of Eden, of death. Because before that, man couldn't die. Man knew no weakness. Man didn't get sick. But here it was. Lazarus had gotten sick and he died. And here it was. Jesus was standing outside the tomb of Lazarus. And I like the faith that Martha said. He's dead, Lord, but even now. The situation is bad, but even now. My child has been backslidden for 10 years, but even now. I've been trying to get saved. Lord, I've been trying to get the Holy Ghost. I've been trying to be healed. It didn't come, but, but even now, Lord. And there it was, Jesus. The Bible said Jesus groaned within himself because he knew the power that was inside of him. Hallelujah. And he stood outside of the tomb and he said, Martha, roll away the stone. And Jesus thanked the Father. And all he said was, Lazarus, come forth. Now listen, Lazarus had no choice. Because when that voice spoke, understand this. I don't know where Lazarus was, if he was in paradise or on his way to paradise. But when Jesus spoke, his spirit and soul had to travel back to meet his body. That voice of which we speak was so powerful. My, 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 not only this, whatever bones may have been dislodged, whatever tissue may have dried up, bone had to reconnect the bone, tissue had to reconnect the tissue, flesh had to come upon the tissue, and life had to come back into Lazarus' body. Not only this, but the sickness that he died of was healed. Listen! His voice, Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever of which we speak. His word was so powerful. Listen to this. Despite the fact that he was raised from the dead, Lazarus was tied up because in that time when a body was put in the tomb, they used to wrap the body up from top to bottom. So the voice brought back life, but he was still tied up. So when Lazarus came out the grave, he was coming out. He was still tied. He was still tied, but he was coming. And maybe you came to this convention tied up, but you came. Maybe you came tied up, but you came. And what did Jesus say? Lose them and let them go. And that same Jesus is here this morning. You are free to receive the Holy Ghost. You are free to be healed. You are free to be delivered. And what did the Bible say? Who the Son of Man set free? No minister could tie back up. No preacher could tie back up. Your family can tie back up. Whatever door God opens for you, no devil can close it back.
You may be seated. And what did the prophet say? The same voice that summoned Lazarus, the same voice that told John to come up, will be in the bride. Could you imagine all your young people bastard? But you'll be able to say, listen, Shane, come back, Aaron, come back, and they will have no choice because that voice doesn't invite debate. That voice, it doesn't talk, you don't debate, you don't argue with that voice. When Christ, the voice of the archangel, steps inside of you, listen, my, 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 my. My looking for that time when you could speak Aaron, come back home, and they have to come back home. There was a time when the prophet was speaking to Sister Hattie, right? I believe it was. And she asked her, What do you want? And she said, The salvation of her two boys. Those boys were just there, but when he said such spoken word salvation, they have no choice because that voice, that voice of which we speak, Christ was veiled in the prophet. Could you imagine what will happen when that same Jesus is veiled inside of your flesh? Listen, the devil is shaking him. The devil just doesn't want this to happen. Don't let the world become flesh. My, 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 my. When Jesus died and said, It is finished. The devil misunderstood his words and taught his men that Jesus was finished, that you were finished, that everything was done. But little did the devil know that was only the beginning and that he was finished because something happened. Listen. Jesus went down in Satan's headquarters, went down and beat the devil himself. They were having a big party downstairs because Jesus had died on the cross. They thought it was all over. Listen, before Jesus came, there was no major disturbance on the earth. The devil had a hard time dealing with Jesus on the earth. So I could imagine when Jesus died, they were having a good time down in hell. They were rejoicing and shouting, but all of a sudden, the door swung open and there stood the mighty conqueror and he walked up and took the keys of death and hell broke satan's power i'm saying that satan has no hold over your life the devil has no control over your life Listen, the devil still has not recovered from that encounter with Jesus. So you can imagine what happens when Jesus becomes veiled in your flesh. When you walk the streets, dev deal demons cross to the other side because they can't deal with you. Listen, I can imagine there will come a time when Satan will see another set of disturbance and he will send his lieutenants to check out what's taking place and they will come back and report, Satan, we don't understand it, but it looks as if that same Jesus is on the earth again uh, veil inside of some people we thought we killed him we thought we got rid of him but somehow he has reproduced himself Blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. You may be seated. God's strategy from a message perfect strength is to take empty human vessels and shake the world with them like he did at Pentecost. At Pentecost, what did he do? It took them some time to get emptied up. But they were all standing there with their vessels turned up and God took himself and filled them up. That's all and they shook the world. God poured himself into today, into them. That's the need of today. That's what we need is empty vessels so God can fill them up. God cannot use them as long as they are already filled up. Young people, God 
God cannot fill you if you are filled up with thoughts of the world and thoughts about doing this and about what you want to do. Listen, you have to empty out yourself. How could God, listen, if you have something in your hand, you have to put down what you have to receive something else. If you are all filled up with thoughts of doing this and thoughts of doing that, whatever, 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 God cannot fill you until you empty yourself up. And that is your job. You can't expect God to give it a land and come and clean it too. You got to clean the land. You got to chop out the weeds. You got to sanctify yourself and make yourself ready. So God can fill you. That is your choice. You could choose to stay dead or you could choose to be on fire. You could choose to go into the world or you could choose to be on God's side. You could choose to smoke or not to smoke. Nobody could change that choice but you. God doesn't interfere with that choice. You could choose to say no to all the alcohol. Say no to pornography. Say no to sex. Say no to every spirit. Hallelujah, that's your choice. You could stand, you could stand, you could stand. Look at those Hebrew boys. They were told that if they bow down, they would go to the fiery furnace. But they had a revelation. They said, our God will deliver us. But if he doesn't, we're still not bowing down. We're not going under. We're not going down. We are going to stand. Young people, you could stand. Young people, you can make it. Young people, you could overcome. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You may be seated. The same Jesus that was above them in the pillar of fire that led the children out of Israel. The same Jesus that walked with them and talked with them for three and a half years. That same Jesus was now inside of these disciples. Was now the inside of these apostles when it happened on the day of Pentecost where Peter could have walked out and said these men are not drunk as you suppose but just this is just that that was spoken of by the prophet Joel that in the last days I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh and it will come a time where we can testify this is that spoken of by the prophet Malachi for when God will once again be on the scene I am longing for that time you will do the same works hallelujah <sighs> You have not seen anything yet. The Bible says eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what's in store for those that love him. The prophet Malachi 4 said the bride hasn't had a revival yet. What do you mean we have had convention after convention but there's been a revival to stir the bride. We have, my, 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 my. You mean this is only the warm up. We are now getting started. As Brother Robledo said this is only the beginning. We are now warming up. What did the prophet say? It'll take those seven thunders to wake her up again just wait until those seven thunders utter their, their voices to that group who can really take the world and hand it there it will slice and cut they can close the heavens they can shut this or do whatever they want whatever they say is going to happen because it's the word of God coming from the mouth of God blessed 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 be the name of the Lord hallelujah I'm almost finished, musicians. God, what from a message, what the Holy Ghost was given for, the prophet said, God poured himself into Christ, correct? Christ poured himself into the church. Now, therefore, at that day, you will know that I am in the Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. That is a whole thing, it's one plan of redemption that God is coming back to live in and dwell with and commute to his people as he did in the beginning. Now, then, as soon as he gets his church in speaking conditions, get his church to that place where he can flow himself through, he has to be able to flow himself through what this means he can have no obstacle no ought nothing to hinder the movement of the holy spirit so if you have any ought any grudge drop it because god has to be able to flow there must be nothing stopping the flow when he wants to flow there has to be no hindrance <laughs> the 
the same Holy Spirit that saved the Lutherans, that sanctified the Methodists. Listen, those, san those sanctified Methodists were so sanctified that the Holy Ghost was trying to fill them, but the time was not yet come. Those deacons had buckets of water because they were so sanctified. Young people, when you clean your life up, the Holy Ghost becomes attracted to you. When you begin to cut out all the worldly affections, the Holy Spirit gets attracted to you. I can imagine the services they used to have that day. They were so sanctified. The moment the Holy Ghost hit, they used to throw water because the time was not yet. But this is the time the Holy Ghost is here. You can be filled. Don't let pride stop you. Don't let girlfriends stop you. Don't let no girlfriends stop you. Don't let boyfriends stop you. No boyfriends stop you. Don't let smoking, no drugs, nothing. Don't let nothing stop you from getting the Holy Ghost. Listen, whatever you have to do, that should be your attitude. People in the world operate from the attitude. They don't want people to tell them what to do. They feel free to dress the way they dress. They feel free to drink alcohol and do what they want to do. We ought to be free. That's say we are looking for the Holy Ghost and acting in a way to receive the Holy Ghost. You ought to be free to shout. You ought to be free to jump. You ought to be free to praise Him. You may be seated. If you like, now the work that I do, you shall do also. Not another work, but God wants to bring the Holy Ghost in you to continue the same work that he was doing in Christ. The work wasn't so needed in the days of Luther. That was God's church. It, wasn't a, it was a bit more, little more needed in the days of Wesley because the world gets it more more worldly so the Holy Spirit has been moving a little breath with Luther a little more with Wesley a deeper a deeper blow at Pentecost now the breath and the spirit has become the same she's uniting together bringing for that same powerful blow of the Holy Ghost like he did back there is manifesting the same works that he did back there is being manifested right today blessed blessed be the name of the Lord From message Revelation chapter 1, the prophet said, I'm finished. And there comes a time that God through the Holy Ghost reveals Christ back in the church with the power and demonstration of healing the sick and making a sign that he said would follow the believers come to pass. Then Satan turns over in his bed. He does something about that. Until that time, Satan don't care how much you join. He don't care how much. But when Christ reveals himself inside of you, that's when something happened. And that should be our cry. That's what we are looking for. For Christ to become visible inside of our pride. For Christ to become visible inside of our people for Christ to show himself once again Mrs. Jesus Christ you are free to worship you are free to shout this confession is your confession don't let the devil steal your opportunity to be filled don't let the devil take away your right to shout and to be free hallelujah message after message will be preached you will have opportunity to be filled don't let the angel pass you by the Holy Ghost is here hallelujah God richly bless you The same yesterday today and forever that same Jesus that caused call Lazarus from the grave is the same Jesus that said the works that I do shall you do also you shall be filled you shall be healed your family's coming 
Hallelujah. You shall be healed. You shall be filled. And the bride of Christ says, Amen. Amen. Because the same Jesus that walked the earth is the Holy Spirit that's brooding over that word seed that's inside of you. What demon is going to stop you? What devil is going to stop you? Praise God, the demons are splattered against the wall. We are free this morning. Hallelujah. Let's give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, blessed be his holy name. We are free this morning. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. We are free at last. Hallelujah. If that same Jesus that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, it shall quicken your mortal body. Hallelujah. That's not a fairy tale. That's the word of God. Hallelujah. Time to dance. Time to shout. Time to rejoice. Hallelujah. That same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwell in you. Oh, it dwells in you. Oh, with that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you. It dwells in you. Well, it shall quicken your mortal body. Oh, if that spirit dwells in you, well, it shall quicken your mortal body. Oh, if that spirit dwells in you, testify. Well, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in me, oh, it dwells in me. Oh, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in me, it dwells in me, well, it shall quicken my mortal body. Oh, if that spirit dwells in me, well, it shall quicken my mortal body. Oh, if that spirit dwell in me, well, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwell in me, oh, dwells in me, well, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in me, it dwells in me. Well, it shall quicken my mortal body. Oh, if that spirit dwells in me, it shall quicken my mortal body. Oh, if that spirit. Come on, musicians. from the dead dwells in me it dwells in me hallelujah if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in me oh it dwells in me 
well it shall quicken dwells in me hallelujah it shall quicken your mortal body oh with that spirit oh for the last time if that spirit if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you oh dwells in you oh with that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you oh it dwells in you oh it shall quicken your mortal body oh if that spirit dwells in you oh it shall quicken your mortal body oh if that spirit dwells in you oh let's give him praise Rejoice, all ye people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be his holy name. Praise God. Praise our God. Praise our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your presence. We thank you for the fire. We love you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be his holy name. Do you appreciate the message this morning? God bless you, Brother Isaac. Hallelujah. feels like we just had the climax to the meeting and we just got started my Jesus the standards been set kind of high friends and it can only get greater and greater and greater so one of these days between six and nine he's gonna call his bride home to meet him in the air hallelujah God bless you brother Isaac what a masterpiece. Hallelujah. Well, may God richly bless you as we get ready to close out in a word of prayer. We have a few announcements to come after the service. This was a youth service, friends. My Jesus. And we're all young, friends. Praise our God. You talk about a youth service. If God would do this for the young people, what about the entire bride? Caleb's young people standing together. Praise Jesus. Every head bowed. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, all we can say is thank you this morning. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your anointing that makes the difference, Father. Lord, we thank you for calling these meetings, Lord Jesus. Lord, we know that these meetings were ordained before the foundation of the world. And Lord, we know you brought us here for a purpose. And Lord Jesus, we stand with our, our hands lifted, Father, our cups raised, Lord. And our prayer is that you fill our cups, Lord Jesus. Bless your people, Lord. Be with them, Lord Jesus. Be between the services, Lord, I mean, the Holy Spirit just continue to brood over that word seed, Lord Jesus. And Lord, that we may return tonight, Lord, stirred, Lord Jesus. Lord, with the fire burning bright, Lord God. Bless your people, Lord, and bless, Lord, your servant, Brother Isaac Covid, Lord Jesus. Special blessing upon him and his family, Lord. We appreciate him, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, be with your people, Lord Jesus, and we'll be careful to give you all the praise, honor, and glory. Jesus' precious name, amen and amen.
You may be seated. I have a few announcements. The first announcement is for the New York Girls Choir and the Tulsa group. If they could meet at 2.30 back in the ballroom for a brief practice. I believe Brother Paloma has some, has some announcements. May God bless you. All I could say is what a dynamo. <laughs> My God. There'd be no power shortage in the world, brother. I'll tell you, I like what he said. We're only going to have youth services over there. I like that one. Amen. We have some announcements. Uh, today is July 4th, so most of the places in the Strawberry Mall are closed. Uh, there is a little place called the Deli uh, Button that's open, but they've brought in extra help. The restaurant is open downstairs. It's open all week for us. So number one... We have a special uh, buffet that's going to be down there every day. We've selected the menu ourselves, and the discounted price for that is $9.25. That includes everything, uh, it, I believe, except the beverage, but it is quite comprehensive. And that'll be downstairs in raspberries. They, they do have extra help, so you will be able to be served. Just be patient with them, and they'll get through everyone that is possible. If you don't want the buffet, we also have a special uh, luncheon menu for smaller items. If you don't want to have the main buffet, you can also have different items that we've also prepared on a special menu. If you wish to select from the regular menu, then you will be given a 15% discount. If you don't have the little card that we gave out when you checked in, it says raspberries, uh, you could just tell them that you're with the church convention and they'll give you that discount. For children, if they select from the regular menu, they will be given 50% off of the regular menu. And I believe for children on the luncheon buffet, they will also be given 50% off on the luncheon buffet also. That is ages 6 through 12. We also have a breakfast menu that we made up special. Just make sure you mention that you are with the church group and you get your discount. But remember, you have to add the gratuity and the recommended gratuity that we're recommending is 17% onto the bill so you can, we can tip them for the services. We have a large group and they're trying to take care of everyone. For those of you who are staying at the Crown, should you decide to use that restaurant, you may show them the same card and get 15% oil also. So make sure, and if you don't have the card, tell them you're with a convention and that you are entitled to a 15% discount. With respect to the Crown Hotel, it's a new place and there's all new rooms and new management there. Uh, so we have uh, some little minor confusion, but that's normal for when you have a new place. Your parking, if you are over there, is included in your rate. If they are charging you $5 a night, make sure you tell them that the parking is included. And if they have any questions, mention the name of Lisa St. John. She is the sales representative that we made our contract with, Lisa St. John. Uh, in addition, uh, besides the parking, if you did not get credit for your deposit yet, the deposits all came to uh, Hilton and they're going over to them. If you don't see a deposit it hit your account by Thursday, uh, then you also tell them to please check with Lisa St. John and they'll appropriately credit your account. One other request we have before we do a couple of other announcements is we know the elevators are not fast here. And one way we can make them faster is if we can watch over the children to make sure that they don't go up and down, run to their room, come back, stop pressing elevator buttons and going up and down. So please instruct your children, uh, no matter what age they are, to please respect that so we can get up and down as we need to and it'll make it a lot easier so we would appreciate that there is a brother over in the crown that has a room he's all alone and he's if there's anyone that you know of that is coming he would like to share his room with at least one to two other brothers so you could see the deacons and they will talk to you and inform you whose room that is brother Neil Holliver is here and he's set up outside uh, in the uh, in the pre-function area there are two things going on. He has, number one, e-books for overseas. And if you notice, he has a sign up there, and if you didn't, you could take a look at it. He has e-books for $50 with a complete 
message on it. If you want to sponsor someone overseas and send them overseas, uh, you just will write your name on a form that is right here, and I believe you could even put a credit card number, etc. And you could also be specific to whom you want the ebook to go. If you are not specific, then they will go just to certain areas as, uh, as uh, they feel led to just send them out in different areas around the world because there's a lot of people that would like to get an ebook. But if you have a specific person you like to send it to overseas, you can specify and they will send it. It's $50 and then the, the books are going to be shipped by Brother Joseph Brenham and he is shipping them with no expense to us or anyone. He's absorbing the cost of shipping them overseas. So if you'd like to do that, that's $50. If you would like to buy one for yourself, you may do so at the price of $59. $59 if you want to buy it for yourself. And he does have the uh, updated message, the entire message, for those of you who have uh, your regular full-size computers or your laptops, and the price of that is $100. So if we can be of any help, may God bless you. May you use the restaurant downstairs. They are fully staffed for today. Most everything else around the area is closed, but I believe they will accommodate. God richly bless you. If we could be of any help, you let us know. God bless. Deacons, you may begin.